Have you seen this ad? Kenny Store's new tax is what he's called road pricing. Yes, Kenny wants to tax you for simply driving into downtown. This is the claim by a better city party, led by Ken Sim, who finished runner-up to Stewart last election. And his claim is pretty straightforward. If re-elected, Kennedy Stewart is 100% committed to putting in a new vehicle tax in entering what is known as the Metro Core. They claim the city will change $5 to $30 for every trip, including ambulances. And they've claimed the mayor is crystal clear about this. Driving to your favorite restaurant downtown? Tax. Driving to go visit a loved one at St. Paul's or Vancouver General Hospital? Tax. It all sounds very dramatic, and it comes from a party that has a clear chance of forming government. But is it actually true? Here is where the claim comes from. On November 17th, 2020, Council passed the next step in its Climate Emergency Action Plan. One of those steps was to ask staff to study the concept of a charge for entering the core of the city, with a vote happening years from now on whether to actually make it happen or not. In BC, we call the concept mobility pricing. Now, Council voted 6-5 in favor of doing the study, including ABC Councillor Rebecca Bly, who passed an amendment clarifying that a lot of studying and working with other cities was required. This is where major cities are going across the world, and, and it is because we have to work together, and I'm excited to see what staff bring back. And that is where we're at. There's no proposed price point, no proposed way it would work, just studies. Studies and the fact that the province told CBC News that they wouldn't support it and the mayor himself has not given support. Well, I mean, that's not on the agenda right now. It's, so. com it's coming in a few months' time based on staff reports. <laughs> well, we'll see. You know, I mean, I know that Vancouver can't do mobility pricing on its own. That's been pretty clear. Well, at this point, what I've been told is that there's no legal way for us to go it alone and put mobility pricing. But staff were asked to study it by a majority of council. So they have continued to study it. And if history is any indication, they'll study it until they're told not to study it anymore. Here is a chart. It shows the number of times in the last decade there's been an article in a major BC newspaper with the phrase mobility pricing. And here is the number of times there's been an actual vote on making it happen. It's been a repetitive work project for bureaucrats over the last decade, and you can certainly critique local government for that. But it's never come up for a vote because politicians have never felt there's enough support. Still, this is election season. In short, it's a tax on everything. This week, the mayor said he didn't support it, and ABC candidates said, essentially, that they didn't believe him. They might continue their campaign claiming what the mayor would do if re-elected. But at this point, mobility pricing to Vancouver seems to be moving about the same speed as a car moves towards Vancouver itself, at least on the North Shore during rush hour.